Hi, my name is Przemek Hojecki and this video is about papers with code. Uh, this is the website I have already mentioned in one of the previous uh, episodes. Uh, basically, papers with code is this fantastic domain where you can go and search for the newest research uh, in machine learning in data science and find code for the recent paper. So it's really great because you can have all this great implementations of whatever you're looking for uh, right now. Uh, for example, you're building a tool for video generation and you want to check what kind of algorithms are already there, what you can improve, what not, or you just want to play around with different models. Uh, and it's really great, you can just, so for example, we can go here into a GAN uh, paper about uh, improving the image quality of style GAN, uh, and you will have here all the code. Uh, so basically, if you click on one of those, then uh, you'll be directed directly to uh, GitHub, and you will find uh, the whole website, the, the, the GitHub code, the paper from the archive, uh, and then everything you need to uh, start using that as on GitHub. But one of the fantastic features that you can find on papers with code is actually uh, the whole search. So for example, if you go for like, let's see, image recognition, this is one of the most popular tasks in uh, machine learning. Uh, so you imagine there will be a lot of code. Uh, you have the uh, you have this uh, oh maybe I just go for image generation actually uh, that be that'd be better to uh, have a look because I think yeah uh, you have 220 papers with code about image generation uh, and then you have both unconditional generation and conditional generation uh, with this is the intro and then the fantastic thing you have leaderboards so you have those different data sets described here uh, which are very well known this the data sets both from like Cypher 10, ImageNet, uh, Celeb, Munist of course and then the, the, the great thing is that if you start clicking on some of those things then uh, you'll be able to see what are the state of the art image generation on this particular data set and this is really Great, this is really fantastic because uh, it, it, it's something which was missing and now you can have that in one place. So right now if you have this table of image generation on Cypher 10 and you can see that it, it's different guns that get different better and better scores on image generation and it's really great. And then if you go down below then you can see that all the papers here are actually papers uh, that you can access most of it. You can access the code of it on uh, GitHub and this is this is really fantastic because uh, not only you have the code, uh, you know also how it positions itself compared to other research, uh, what's better, what's worse. This is really great. Yeah, so if we for example click again on like improved GAN then we can go directly to um, the, the, the technique about that and then you can find different links to code on GitHub. Uh, the one with the largest number of stars probably the one which is uh, the original one. Yeah, uh, so this is the gun uh, and you find the code for it. So this is really great. Uh, yeah, once I've discovered this device and how to use it, I, I really love papers with code uh, and I really recommend you start using that because uh, you quickly get to see how different areas of machine learning and data science connects with each other. And you can do those different tasks like browsing, uh, you can go through either domain like I did with uh, image generation, uh, image classification, then you can go to uh, natural language processing and there are a bunch of other tasks that you can go through. And this is really, really great. Uh, as you can see, this is still ongoing. Uh, this is open source, which means that you can also contribute to that. Uh, so this is really great. Thank you for watching this episode. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode.